This is NCBN Sports Update. I am Habiodun Mohamed. The Honorable Minister of Sports and Youth Development, Sunday Dari, has been presented with the new sports industry policy. Speaking while receiving the draft of the National Sports Industry Policy, Dari said the policy would accelerate sports development and add value to the talents of Nigeria sportsmen and women. The minister described the development as a milestone with the capacity to change the face of the running of sports business in Nigeria. While congratulating members of the steering committee of the Sports Industry Working Group, the minister praised the Policy Validation Committee and the National Sports Industry Policy Drafting Committee, the relevant MDAs and ministries for their commitment in bringing the draft into reality. And now to River State. The River State Governor Yosem Wiki has approved the total regressing and rehabilitation of the main bowls, football pitch and the two training pitches of the Adokiye Amesimeka Sports Complex. The stadium has hosted several local, continental and international matches in the past, but the football pitch of the main bowl has been in a deplorable state. The rehabilitation involves excavation and laying of level planting of fever-approved natural paspalum grass, provision of motorized mower and lawn mowers, installation of sprinklers, laying of six underground pumping machines, plumbing and electrical works, amongst others. The move, which is in preparation of Rivers United's participation in the 2020-2021 CAF Champions League campaign and other high-profile matches, is expected to be delivered towards the end of August. And now to Super Eagles matters. Super Eagles defender Leon Balogun has commenced training with his new club, Rangers, in Scotland. The 32 year old player who trained at his club training facility on Tuesday joined the Scottish Premiership side on a one year contract with an option of an extension after leaving Championship side Wigan Athletic and becoming a free agent at the end of the 2019 2020 season. Having been unveiled by Steven Gerrard's men, the Super Eagles defender moved swiftly into action by training with the team at Rangers Training Centre. In the just concluded season, Balogun featured in 11 league games for the Lactics, but his contributions were not enough to save Paul Cook's men from relegation as they were handed a 12 point deduction. And now through transfer matters, Inter Milan want to sign Manchester United forward Alexis Sanchez on a permanent deal. The Chile striker, aged 31, has impressed during his loan spell in Hifley and scored his third goal in eight games during Saturday's 3 0 win at Genoa. Sanchez was involved again on Tuesday night as Inter maintained their push to finish second in Syria Ha with a 2 0 win over Napoli. Inter have not finished in Syria Ha's top three since 2011. The player's United contract, thought to be around £400,000 a week, is beyond Inter's reach, but Ultra Ford boss Ole Gunnar Sugsja does not want to keep the former Barcelona forward for next season. And now to tennis, Andy Murray's preparations for the restart of the professional tour continued at the battle of the Brit team tennis, but ended in a mixed doubles defeat with Jody Buraj. Former world number one Murray and Buraj were beaten 4 6 6 4 10 8 by Joe Salisbury and Hima Raducanu. Salisbury and Raducanu's win gave their British Bulldog side a 18 8 lead over the Union Jacks at the end of day two. Hellier. Joanna Conta found a rhythm to fight back and beat Katie Bota. Murray, who has been dealing with pelvic and shin injuries in recent months, is playing only in the doubles at the National Tennis Center because he does not want to take any risks with his, former, with his fitness. I beg your pardon. The three-time Grand Slam champion is planning to play in the Cincinnati Masters and U.S. Open double header, which is set to take place behind closed doors in New York next month. And now to cricket, Stuart Broad's 500 test wicket sent England on the way to completing a series victory over West Indies on the final day of the third test at Hemerit Ultraford. Broad had Craig Braithwaite's LBW to become only the fourth pace bowler and second England player after James Anderson to reach the landmark and would later take the final wicket to complete his third 10 wicket haul in test. Chris Workies claimed 5 to 50 as England dodged the showers to bowl West Indies out for 129 win by 269 runs and take the series 2-1. After being beaten in the first test in Southampton, England have come from behind to win a three-match series for the first time since 2008. And that was NCBN Sports Beat. I am Habiodo Mohamed. Join us on our social media platforms to acquaint yourselves with what is happening in NCBN. Good evening.